this is the Henkel Cleveland location. Uh, we make adhesives, uh, silicones, epoxies, hardeners. Our, our products are used uh, pretty much at any, any automotive manufacturer here in the United States. We do a lot of stuff for the appliance industry. We sell stuff that goes right to consumers. You'll see a lot of our products that are used in industrial applications, aerospace applications, military applications, construction adhesives, uh, other automotive needs, uh, electronics. We do a lot of business with electronics. Uh, fill One is a uh, cartridge filler. We fill silicone cartridges, different flavors we call them here. We have different types of silicone we fill in them. Uh, there's multiple systems in there. We start with a process controller. Uh, that one's a specific one for that machine. That controls all of our valve bodies, which then use the different air cylinders and air uh, valves to actuate different parts of the machine to either move the cylinder, move a cartridge through the machine, move a cartridge carrier through the machine, or open the spouts to fill the product into the uh, cartridges. What it does is it takes either product from a bulk tanker system in which we then static mix products to make the different silicones, or we use drums, or we use pumps to pump it into the machine. It then fills the cartridges anywhere from 20 to 30 a minute. One of our pieces of equipment is a box erector where it takes a flattened box panel and we'll open it up. Well, once it loads it in there, it'll open the box up and allow us to have the machine push in the 12 uh, cartridges and at that time then push it out through there, lift it back up and send it to a tape machine. So there's no personnel touching that product. Once they're complete and the orders are complete, we turn in all of our paperwork. We will go forward and our material handlers will take the boxes, bring them back here to our shipping department where they will be processed further and go over to wherever their final destination is. It's, it's different every single day. Uh, I can run a, a filler line or a packaging line, but every, it's different every day. <laughs> pack four and pack one, they're about the same as far as colors and what we're running, but they're in tubes and not cartridges. First thing they had to check and make sure they have everything at the line to run. Then after that, they will have to make their lot assignment. Their lot assignment consists of the material, which you can get off the tanker or off the truck. We have to check the weight every 15 minutes. Also, if we're running off the tanker, we might be running different colors. When we're doing that, the pigment and the silicone meets and it creates the color. They have to watch and do a pigment test every 15 minutes to make sure that the color stays at a, at a certain shape. It can't be too light. The, uh, the color can fade away if the pigment pump isn't pumping. That's a faster machine. You should be able to get between about thirty to thirty-five thousand a ship. Once the order is complete, our material handlers will then confirm everything for that order, wrap it up, make the ticket, and then it gets sent to shipping. Now on uh, one of our fillers we use a, we were filling a dual syringe where we throw the syringes in a bowl, they vibrate around, orientate themselves the proper direction, we pick them up using air cylinders to pick them up and then set them into the cups to have them filled. We also pick up the plungers to set them in and push them into the syringes after they're filled. We just purchased from Motion Industries a linear cylinder or a linear actuator and a stepper drive to replace a cup lifter that's a cam driven cup lifter. With the linear actuator we can actually get a finer cup lift point 
on our product and not introduce air in while we're filling it. Many of the distributors um, are both uh, customer and vendor for us. Um, for as many spare parts and, and other pieces of equipment that are part of that operation, I can't, I can't stock on our shelves all the kinds of inventory I need to keep running every day. If I don't have my equipment running, I'm upsetting the entire flow of the operation here. I have to move my labor force to other machines that may not be ready, so my productivity goes um, uh, in a very negative way. But more importantly, I'm disappointing customers. We rely on distributors to help us resupply uh, things like conveyors, rollers, motors, uh, other uh, essential parts to our operation. Um, it's important that we have that expertise in the distributors that we use so that my people can do what they do best. I need them to be able to reach out to a distributor very quickly, convey what they need, and get that material on order and coming to us as quickly as possible. I need those people with their you know, hands-on equipment um, kind of thing. So I, I need, I require that I have Motion Industries to be able to be that resource for me. 